Okay, so Samuel L. Jackson was unquestionably cool. Unquestionably. In the Avengers movie. Yes. Um, but I've got to say, I've always preferred the classic Nick Fury to the ultimate Nick Fury. Yeah, but they both have their charm. Well, yeah, but the original had this kind of old school, stubbly, cigar chomping, I love the smell of superheroes in the morning yeah, kind but, of thing going on. Yeah, but you know? Ultimate Nick Fury is Samuel L. Jackson. It's true. And there is no one cooler than Samuel L. Jackson. And they based the revamp on Samuel L. Jackson. Okay, uh, maybe this is a larger He comments. got et by a shark. Not in the Avengers <laughs> no. film, obviously. <laughs> no spoilers there. He got et by a shark. Okay, but my point is that the classic Nick Fury is very cool. That Yes, that yeah. is true. And there's a series that's come out that we are looking at the first issue of, Fury, My War Gone By, mm -hmm. that focuses on that classic Nick. Indeed. Now, if you're focusing on a character who is a little violent, mm. a little angry, a little craggy, and swears a lot, yeah. who better to write it than Garth Ennis? Yeah, the, the swearing alone <laughs> is pretty much puts it in his ballpark, but he's already done a couple of runs in Nick Fury already. He has. He? This is actually his third time. Mm. Uh, Ennis has also brought us Fury and Peacemaker, both mm. published by Max Comics and both with great success. Mm. Now, My War Gone By sees Nick in 1950s Indochina, where he is very, very bored. Yes, he is. Now, yeah. look, I was pretty jazzed going into this mm -hmm. one. I mean, when you've got a character that's so cool and so dangerous and so bitter, it should be a real treat to see how he got that way. Should be. Well, you didn't like it, did you? Uh, it bored me. <sighs> Nothing happens in this comic. Yeah, that is a bit of a symptom of Ennis's writing, though. He Maybe. has a tendency to kind of write these page after page conversations with portentous chatter and mm. nothing really happening in between it. Mm. But there is that great fight. Which lasts a page and a half and is mostly people <laughs> shouting. Look, True. I just thank God for the art being so good so we have something to look at in this Yes, way. now Goran Parlov's work on this is pretty spectacular. Yeah. He's done such a beautiful job with all the characters. Their faces are wonderful, mm. expressive bodies. I mean, you could tell everything about a character's personality just by the way he's drawn them That's standing true. in a room. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Also, the atmosphere he's added to this comic mm. and the kind of the overall setting, it's just beautifully done. Yeah, it is, but the fact is we've seen what Palov can do. I mean, you just wish that Ennis had actually given him something more interesting to draw yeah. than people standing around in a room. I think you're being just a little harsh. I mean, this is issue number one. Ennis needs to set up the characters and put them in the right setting before he starts blowing pieces out of it. Okay, I know you're right, but for I'm an right. issue one, there needs to be a hook to pull you through into issue two, and I just don't see that in this. I mean, there's a lot of talk about communism and global politics, but there's not really any reason given why we should care. Are you burying this book? After long and careful consideration, no. Okay. No, I'm not. No, look, you're right, it is an issue one. I've seen from experience, NS can pull these things out if given a chance, yeah. you know? I've seen long-running series where you know, he has had these issues that have just been long conversations. Um, I'm gonna put this one provisionally as a borrow. I, he may well turn around and make the second issue fantastic. Nice. I unfortunately have to agree with you again. <laughs> <sighs> this is a borrow for me as well. Look, I know that Ennis is a bit patchy at times, mm. but I also know what he is capable of. The artwork alone is enough to keep my eye on this comic book for a little bit longer. Mm. And I think Ennis is actually building up to something quite interesting. Mm. If you're not a patient person, it might be best to kind of wait for the trade to come out so you can read it all in one hit. Could be. Mm. But yeah, it's a borrow for me as well. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yes, we will. What are you doing? It's a thoughtful chin stroke. It's weird. You're weird. It's weird. Stop it. Okay. 